Welcome to Orion Outreach. I'm Penny Schultz, and joining us today are Evan and Madeline Threlkeld, missionary evangelists and founders of Gospel Awakening Ministries. Their passion is to reach the world with the gospel, love, and the truth of Jesus Christ. Evan and Madeline desire to see the next generation empowered by the gospel, and they are hosting the Fall Freedom Festival here in Orion Township at Civic Center Park, October 6th through the 8th. Evan and Madeline are bringing the message of hope to this generation, and you are invited to partner with them. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having us. It's really an honor. So you've been around the township a little little bit. Last night you were at our board meeting. Yes, yes, that was such a privilege. Uh, we really enjoyed just sharing a bit about the event with you and Chris Barnett and the whole uh, leadership team. It was great to have both of you there praying for our community and inviting everyone to this wonderful event. Tell yes. us about that. Well, we want everyone to feel welcome to come and this event is open to the entire community. It's not only for people that go to church, but just anybody that wants to come, and it's gonna be very fun. We're gonna have DJs, we're gonna have uh, giveaways, and we're going to be sharing a message of hope and give an opportunity for everyone to be encouraged and, and feel loved and valued. I'm so excited, I'll be there. Um, tell us, Madeline, where will yeah. it be held? And give us some times yeah. and details. Yeah, so it'll be held at the Civic Center Park Number no. 7 near the Wildwood Amphitheater. It'll be this October 6th through the 8th, Friday to Sunday, 6 to 10 p.m. nightly. And we are so excited right here in Lake Orion, Michigan. We just can't wait. It's amazing that you're doing this event here. You're from the area, Evan. Yes, I grew up here. Um, I've traveled all over the world and lived in many different places, but I grew up in Lake Orion. And in fact, we're doing this event because I was deeply impacted as a young man, um, as a young boy by, by Jesus. And so we you know there's a lot of people struggling like I was with being bullied or depression or just questioning their purpose in life. And I was struggling with my family and they got divorced when I was seven. And later, after I made a decision to follow Jesus, they got remarried after 18 years of being divorced. So we wanna, we wanna reach out to the young generation that's struggling like I was. It's amazing how you're able to share a part of your life so openly, and you do that because you know that Christ redeemed you. Yes, yes. very much so. And people need to be able, students and young adults, they need to be able to share what's happening in their life with someone. They do, yeah. they need hope, they need encouragement, and I know there's so many, so many things that plague the young generation and their families, and we wanna give an outlet and opportunity for them to come and uh, be encouraged and, and know they're valued and loved and their life is, is important. So you're partnering with some other groups here in the area. There'll be music. Yes. I heard 20 Front Street, we've got um, the Living Army coming. Yeah. Yes, we have three incredible bands that are gonna be playing each night. First night, we have a band called um, Met by Love. Met by Love, okay. Yeah. Met by Love is absolutely amazing. They tour the country and they do these huge rallies for Gen Z in California and really all over. They're gonna be joining us the first night. Second night, we're gonna have Bethel Cleveland coming up from Ohio. Nice. And then night three, we're gonna have Living Army as well. I'm so excited. Yeah. I can't wait. I, I know that the youth are gonna to wanna to be a part of this and their parents too. Yeah. Yes. Bring everybody. So yes. who, what would you say to the parents? Madeline. I would say come and be a part of it as well because you know the beautiful thing is if you see one person in the family saved and redeemed by Christ he can get to the whole family so we want to see the young people we want to see the family the parents everyone there because we all need Jesus so it the gospel is not excluded to anybody. That's beautiful. Yeah. Is there a charge for the event? No, nope, it's all free. Yep. So it, we're we're putting this event on for all the event to feel free to come without any expense. That's amazing. If people to want to partner with you, how do they reach you? Yes, well, our ministry is called Gospel Awakening, mm -hmm. um, and we will give an opportunity for people to simply sew into the event itself there mm -hmm. um, to help cover costs, because we've paid for the whole thing out of our own pockets. But we are really, really um, wanting people to feel no pressure to. I love that. Because to, to most students don't have any 
they, they use a car, but most right. don't have any cash. <laughs> yeah. So That's I'm right. happy to help. I'm glad that you're Thank making you. an opportunity, giving us that opportunity, because when you've been touched by the love of Jesus and people like your generation are going out and inviting others to Christ, yes. you want to help partner with that. Yes. yes. Amen. So you met one of our our pastors last night, Pastor Steve with yes. Lake Orion Baptist. Yes. That was wonderful. He's a wonderful man that obviously has been in, impacting the community for a long time. And mm -hmm. he's got a heart for missions like we do. We both had served in Tanzania for a time. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that was a really cool connection. That, that was awesome. I enjoyed yeah. sitting in the board meeting and seeing before it got started, you guys conversing with one another. I believe those appointments are just appointments that are sweet from God. Yes. yes. So Madeline, how did you and Evan meet? So an amazing story, one of my favorite. Um, I was in Australia and I heard the voice of God to fly all the way to America to do Christ for All Nations Evangelism Boot Camp. It's a three month program where we learn how to preach the gospel, in particular uh, at crusades, so with mass evangelism. And I flew to this new country of America and I met Evan and I interned for Evan and he was my coach. And we were friends and we went to Tanzania and we were talking in Tanzania and we got back to America, we started dating. Two months, we waited a long time <laughs> and then we got married Aww. and we've been married for two years and it's just been incredible. It's so beautiful. Yeah. You're a beautiful couple. Thank you. It's nice to have a helper in everything that you do. Yeah. Yes. Someone to partner and share. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yes. She wasn't easy to let go. So I said two months in, she would have had to fly back to Australia because of her visa. So I figured, mm -hmm. let, let's do it now. Um, otherwise, I might not see her for another year or two. Yeah. Sure, so. that's too long. Yeah. That's yeah. way too long. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Where's yes. your home? Where do you make your home? So we've been living in Orlando, Florida. Sure. Yeah. Um, but we're actually, uh, to be honest, we gave up our, our apartment. I quit my job mm -hmm. just so we could be a part of this event, put our whole hearts into it, and so into the region and into the community. So I quit my job. We literally gave up our apartment to come up here and so into this region. Incredible. And we're going to be, we, we really had no plan of what we were going to do. All we knew was we would be going to Australia at some point. But then if another friend of mine who has a truck that is like a fold-out um, gospel truck asked us if we would be willing to tour around the country with this truck. Yes. And so we said yes to that. So that's what we'll be doing after the Oh, event. that's incredible. Where is yeah. your next stop? We're going to be going to, um, with the truck, Milwaukee, uh, Wisconsin, and then Chicago, and then down to Indianapolis and Texas and all over. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Yeah. Now, your dad, is he still in the community, Evan? You grew up here. So my dad did have a lot of real estate right here in Lake Orion, mm -hmm. and he uh, also moved to uh or, uh, Orlando when I did, Good. and he also bought some commercial properties down there. But he's going to be coming up for this event. He's, they're very, very excited. My mom and dad both lived in this community, and they're very excited. There's a road named after you, Evan Court. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love that. I know your dad. He did that lot split with the township decades ago. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, that's so cool. He named that street after me, and we, we grew up there. And, yeah, it's, it's awesome to come back and so into the community. That's beautiful. Mm, yes. So what would you tell the kids at home? I would say to any students or even any parents with students, I would say bring your students. I'd say if you're in Gen Z, middle school, high school age, or anywhere below the age of 20, like we really want to see you at this event. You're gonna have a great time. It's gonna be a ton of fun, and you're gonna be so encouraged. You're gonna experience so much love and purpose and a message of hope that I promise will encourage your life. I've been able to share the story that has changed so many lives around the world for the better, and you are not going to want to miss this event. It's going to be awesome. Bring your friends. It's going to be a really fun time. And by the way, I'm a DJ too, so I'm going to be playing one of the nights, and that'll be really fun as well. So we look forward to seeing you. That's awesome. People are going to connect. Yeah. Students are going to connect. Yes. We're really yes. trusting God for a great opportunity. And I think people are ready for something like this. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Will there be a tent? Yes. So yes. we felt actually to do this event under mm -hmm. a tent because 
we wanted to make all the churches and all the community feel comfortable to come to a, to a, a neutral venue. Yeah. Um, and we really want any denominational church, any anyone in the region to feel comfortable to come under this tent, gather in the field and, and praise God together and yes. it's going to be so fun to see the unity and connection that takes place there. I yes. can't wait. And it's right across from Wildwood Amphitheater yes. on the soccer field. Yes. Oh, you yep. can't get any better than that. Yeah. I bet a lot of those kids have played soccer in those fields. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So they're going to want to come out. Youth groups, we're hoping the youth groups will come out. We would yes. love for youth pastors and youth groups to come. We already yeah. have a number of youth pastors and youth groups that are coming out, but we want to welcome all of you that would be interested and feel free to reach out to us personally for any more questions or information as well. Yeah. And contact information, your email or your website? Yeah. Yes, it is admin at wearegospelawakening.com. And we also have a website that is wearegospelawakening.com. You can find everything about us there. You can contact us there. You can also give into this tent meeting on that website as well. And we have um, Facebook and Instagram. It's Gospel Awakening Ministries. You can find us there also. Fantastic. ONTV is amazing. They get the word out about all events. They care about what we care about. Yes. And they're really connected to so many sectors in this community and beyond. Yes. So I'm really grateful for Becky and Ian and Tessa. They're yes. just amazing. Yes. yes. Thank you so much for having us on. It's such a privilege to be here. And, and truly, you know, we've been all over the world. My wife's from Australia. We have another friend from Australia that's here helping us that flew in just for the event. But there's nowhere in the world we would rather be than right here in Lake Orion with you because this is the time for Lake Orion and for the Gen Z of uh, Lake Orion to rise up and enjoy the presence of God, experience the love of God, and have their lives transformed for the better. Amazing. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you so much, Penny. So we hope we see you out at the soccer field in Lake Orion on Friday night. It's going to run all weekend. It's going to be a phenomenal event. Bring your friends. Invite your family. We'll see you there.